Apple is becoming the new Microsoft. So back in the early 2000s, Microsoft was the king of the desktop, it was one of the biggest technology companies around, and it really literally ruled the computer market. Here we are about 10-15 years later, and Microsoft has slid a long way. They're no longer the ruler of the desktop market because, you know, the post-PC revolution is slowly pushing Microsoft back into the past, and Microsoft's new Windows 8 push has been somewhat successful but not enough to get the company off the ground once again. But now Apple looks like it could be coming the Microsoft of the 2010s. Here's why. So for one, Apple stocks have been slowly sliding over the last couple of years, uh, similar to Microsoft in like from like the period from 2000 to 2007 or 2008. Investors are beginning to get pretty wary of Apple, and you know in some ways for good reason. So ever since the launch of the iPad, Apple really hasn't done anything particularly new or groundbreaking, and while their products have continued to be fairly popular with customers, it's only a matter of time before Apple gets uh, you know, overtaken by another company like Samsung or a, an Android maker who's actually releasing more innovative phones than Apple's. I mean, think about it. Apple's last iPhone was the iPhone 5S, which basically didn't offer that much new things over the iPhone 5. Basically, the biggest thing it had was a fingerprint sensor and then also just, you know, faster capabilities. But that's not a enough to cement a leader of the innovation, and you know, Apple needs to do something again big if it wants to stay at the lead. But Apple doesn't have anything groundbreaking planned. I mean, sure, you might say that Apple's planning to release an iWatch and maybe an iTV, but I mean, who are we kidding here? Smartwatches have already been done, Pebble already did that a number of years ago, and a whole bunch of other companies have already jumped on board with the whole idea. I mean, think about it, Samsung has already actually released two variations of their smartwatch, the Gear. The iTV, I mean, sure, it would be great to see Apple get into the TV industry, and I think that could help grow the company, but again, smart TVs are not new technology. They have been around for a number of years now, and Apple is definitely not going to be the first company to really create the best new smart TV around. This really is similar to Microsoft in the 2000s when they really weren't doing that much new and innovative stuff. I mean, Vista was a complete flop, Windows 7 was pretty decent, but again, it wasn't uh, anything too innovative, and Microsoft was slowly losing market share then. Apple is slowly lo losing market share now, but to a new competitor, Android, and you know, the entire mass of Android phone makers that have swirled around Google's operating system, like Samsung, HTC, Google's Nexus devices, Sony, the list goes on and on and on and on. In some ways, the, 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 this resembles Apple and the PC market, in which their MacBooks have been just flooded with PC alternatives from PC makers who are releasing things for Microsoft's operating system. I don't know, these are just my opinions, and maybe Apple will release a brand new product that will help the company stay fresh and stay at the top of the leaderboard of companies, but you know, Google's overtaken Apple for the first time. Apple is, you know, slowly sliding down, I think, right now, and, you know, ever since Steve Jobs' death, you know, Tim Cook, he hasn't really revolutionized the industry that much. I mean, Apple product keynotes are, to be honest, a little bit boring now. Rumors uh, are, are revealed about the products long before it's actually announced. I mean, with the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C, reviewers knew exactly what to expect before they even walked into the event. And the products themselves really aren't that exciting. I mean, the iPhone 5C just wasn't that interesting. The iPhone 5S was a very small upgrade from the iPhone 5. The iPad Air was a lot thinner, which was cool, and I like that, but again, that's not enough to sell a product. And the iPad Mini with Retina Display is the same story. It remains to be seen whether Apple can really take back the crown in 2014. I think a lot of their events for 2014 are still ahead of them, and you know, I think they could seize back that crown, but I, I think right now, Apple is on the trajectory to become the Microsoft of 10 years ago. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!